Wrestling fans, boxing fans, everybody out there, how are you? Let's get into it. NWA Hard Times 3. We have a new NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. Former NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. He cashes in the television title to come to his hometown in New Orleans and win the World Heavyweight title. Tyrus is your new world's champion. Speaking of new champions, Kerry Morton, the, the son of Ricky Morton, wins the Junior Heavyweight Championship. It was a hell of a match. Homicide did a hell of a job putting that NWA title on the map. Maybe maybe he'll get a, a shot again, a rematch. And he's got the capability of taking that championship back from Kerry Morton. Um, Jordan Clearwater, he becomes the television champion after Tyrus vacates the belt. But his first defense of that belt will be against men's. Big, strong men's. Camille is your NWA women's champion. Still pretty empowered. They got the tag team belts, the women's tag team belts. And EC3 d defeated Tom Latimer. And I know everybody's up in arms about this Nick Aldis thing. Is he leaving? Is he staying? If it's a work or whatever. Folks, I don't know. I do not know. Um, because we've seen this as wrestling fans and observer as wrestling fans and people who keep an eye on the sport and things like that. How many times have we seen Hulk Hogan and and Randy Savage and Bret Hart and all these wrestlers have issues with the promoter for one reason or another. And, you know, they, I just think that things will work. <clears throat> I just believe that eventually it'll work itself out. You know, uh, I don't know if it's a work, if it's a... If it's just playing with the fans to keep them interested, I don't know. But there's something in me that sometimes, sometimes, like maybe somewhere down the road they'll work things out. Nick will come back to the NWA or, or maybe Nick will ask for more money if, um, to come to come back to the NWA or or something because I remember D Dave Lagana he left the NWA for uh, personal reasons and uh, Nick Aldis did, uh, edited the Ten Pounds of Gold and things like that and. Things of that nature. Um, so, hopefully they'll be able to work it out where Nick can stay. Maybe something he said got taken out of context and people just ran with it. And Billy Corgan did suspend him. He suspended Nick Aldis. But he still got him on, on payroll. You know what I mean? Uh, he's still paying Nick Aldis. So, we'll see what happens with that. And uh, Terry Morton, he's a very talented kid. You know, he's got, he's got a lot of talent. Let's see what he can do as the champ, as the junior heavyweight champion of the world.
Um, I'm a fan of Darius Lockhart. I don't know what happened to Darius. Uh, he was he was in the NWA. Um, I don't know what happened to Darius Lockhart, but kudos to Kerry Morton. Respect to the Rock and Roll Express. Um, let's see what the kids got. Let's see what Jordan Clearwater does as television champion. But La Rebellion, as far as I'm concerned with those guys, they have to deal with the Commonwealth connection. They have to go against Doug Williams and Harry Smith. They have to, because Harry, the Commonwealth Connection never lost the belts in the ring. Never lost the belts in the ring. They have to deal with those guys, one way or another. They have to give those guys a shot. They have to, because it's the only right thing to do. Those guys never lost those belts in the ring. So... EC3, very talented guy, former Impact Wrestling World Champion, former Grand Champion of Impact Wrestling. Um, he was in the WWE for a cup of coffee. The WWE didn't do nothing with him. So he shows up in the NWA. He is one of the NWA's biggest stars. I hope to see him in a championship title picture soon, whether it's the world title, the television title, the national belt. I hope to see him challenging for a belt soon. Tom Latimer, no pushover. The guy's got the guy's got it. He's got terrific talent. He's got great taste in women, too. He's got great taste in women. So, but bottom line is, both Tom Latimer and EC3, they can wrestle. They got the talent to be champions. And I hope they do something with both of them that is mean meaningful to their careers like i hope that they put a belt on ec3 i hope they put a belt on tom latimer because it's worth it they're worth it as talents they're worth it and Speaking of Jordan Clearwater, not only is he the NWA World Television Champion now, but he's also the World Champion of the United Wrestling Network. He defeated Chris Dickinson, the Dirty Daddy Chris Dickinson. So, we'll see what happens from here, man. But, Altogether, uh, Hard Times 3 was not bad as a pay-per-view. It was not bad at all. Um, Homicide, he held that belt for a good minute. It was time for a belt change. You know, it was time. But Kerry Morton, eh. Okay. Let's see what the kid does. Tyrus, well, the, they're going to get a lot of publicity with Tyrus being the world's champion because of the fact that Tyrus is on Fox News. When he was world television champion, he would bring the television title with him on Fox News. Every time he did something on Fox News, they, he would be on television holding the television title. He's going to be doing the same thing with the World Heavyweight title. 
and that's only going to be putting more eyes on the NWA because of Tyrus being a world champion now. So, ride time, wrestling and boxing forever, I'm out. And, and keep climbing your championship ladder no matter what it is. I'm out.